welcome back to my channel. Um, I was wanting to do a getting ready with me video and to more importantly also update you at the same time on Carrie's sister Crystal. Um, for as some of you know, she we got a phone call the other day saying she was in the hospital and she was unconscious. Well, apparently now she's on life support, but um, she had suffered um, not the hemorrhaging stroke, but I can't remember the exact one. Um, the opposite one was, I mean, a stroke is a stroke, you know. Uh, but it, anyway, she suffered it because I think what had happened was uh, they said she went taking her diabetic medicine and she was eating fast food. That's what we're hearing. But anyway, yes, yeah, she's on life support, but the good thing is she's mo moving her hands and so forth. She's not awake. But that's a positive sign. So, okay, you know, keep you updated, and I'll try to update you as much as I can. Um, don't forget to follow me on Twitter at CraftyBeautyD1 or on uh, Keek, Crafty Beauty Diva. And where's another one? A Facebook. I'll think of it later, but usually one of those two, it's easier for me to tweet what's going on, so go follow me there, but um, we're not going to go see her today, we're going to go see her tomorrow after I get off work, so anyway, um, to get my mind off of things, I thought I would do a couple of videos for you guys, so anyway, um, and I was asked to do what's in my bag video, and I still got to get the think pink video I've been trying to get up, so anyway, I'll get that done eventually. Anyway. I've already primed my eyelids with um, my usual combination of the Urban Decay Primer Potion and the Killer Tattoo Burly Beige. And I'm on a mission to use my eyeshadows for, from LA Colors this week. I didn't wear any makeup yesterday, obviously. Um, and I did clean all my makeup brushes Monday night. So. Uh, yeah, I'm really excited. I'm gonna start with clean brushes, and I just I didn't use the rest of the thing I really use. I just I did a little bit of alcohol, baby shampoo, and leave it conditioner. I mixed it. Um, I was trying to soften some of my brushes. I was having a hard time softening. So anyway, the one I chose today is Cafe Latte. Now I know uh, LA Colors is not a lot of people's favorite brand, but um, and it it is what you get paid for, but some of the eyeshadows I have, I really like, and this will give me an opportunity to go back and reevaluate re the few I have and see which ones I'm going to continue keeping, you know, that kind of thing. So, anyway, um, and I forgot to mention it. Thank you guys for your prayers and concerns. I did forget to mention that. My family appreciates that, so thank you. I appreciate it, and please keep them uh, definitely coming. Okay, moving on. Um... Yes, let me grab, I'm just using my Urban Decay Shadow Brush. Um, I'm probably going to wear these three colors right here. This one on the lid, this one on the crease, and that one in the uh, brow. If not, I'll go this one. I love this palette, but I think I was having difficulty with it last time. I think that's why I pretty much just stay away from the eyeshadows. In case you're wondering what's on my hand, I was watching some eyeliners for a friend of mine, showing her what it looks like that I might send her. So, I got rid of some more not only nail, pro nail polish, but I've gotten rid of some more general makeup items, like for the eyes and that kind of thing, just, you know, if I'm away or whatever, so. Anyway, yeah, I totally didn't wear makeup yesterday. I wanted to, but I thought it would be better if I didn't. I had a very, uh, and it's good to give your face a, a makeup-free day, and yesterday was my day, so definitely. Hope you guys had a good weekend. 
and I would I will tell you now this this is why I love this I love these color these taupey colors. I really been obsessed with the taupey colors and then like of course pearls like the pearl nail polish look, the pearls in general, that kind of thing. Okay. I know I hope you guys don't think I'm piling on too much, but with this some of this eyeshadow pouch you kinda have to. It's not the greatest quality. And I was looking at my next nude on nude palette and noticed that some of these colors are in there. And that's a much better quality palette anyway. Um, I still want to do my Adina nail polish collection video. Um, I have some nail polishes in the bottom of their drawer. And I asked my husband um, why he didn't think they were closing all the way. He said I got too many in there. So I'm actually going to have to move those. I'll find another way to set those up, so. Okay. I'm anxious to, there, there's some of these brushes I've had for a while now. I am going to purchase the Real Techniques brushes eventually. Um, there's just some. I've had to get rid of several of them. They're just scratching my eyes out totally. Um, and I'm testing some of these out to see if they still are, because I wanted to make sure I had a, a clean, but yes, softening cleaner. I like what I've been normally doing, seeing if that would soften them up, and if it don't, just get rid of the brush. No point in keeping something that's going to scratch your eye, though, you know. I really need to get my little kitty mirror out. I don't know, and you guys know the Getting Ready With Me videos will be done in two parts. It took forever for that one to upload the other day, but hey, I'm glad I got it uploaded. I love this palette. I love the colors. I just wish it was a little bit better quality. If you know a similar palette close to this, I mean, besides what I think it is, it's hard to see with my lighting, but if you know of a similar color palette like this, better be dark or high end, just go ahead and let me know in the comments below. I'm interested because I really like this color combination. And I'm trying not to do it over the dramatic look, but. I do want to have them if I can one other video. And if I don't, if you don't see the part two, it's probably because I just went on ahead and decided to skip that. I don't know. It's going to go on as I feel. I will tell you, since I washed this L Professional Eye Blending Brush, it is a lot softer. I'll forget to deep clean my brushes, but I do spot clean them. I think um, I am going to definitely for my foundation brushes. My foundation brushes came out clean, but I'm going to go ahead and stick to using Dawn because that really has done a really nice job of getting my uh, those done, uh, as far as, you know, clean. Like I said, I'm not really looking for anything too heavy. I've had to like scoot over. Me and my husband like to cuddle when we're sleeping, but I've had to move over and stuff like that because um, we've just determined we need a little bit more room in our bed, but we don't we can't really have a bigger bed. So yeah, we rolled over and kind of accidentally you know poke each other around a little bit. It's kind of funny. I am gonna use that beige looking color. I don't know how the weather is out there where, anywhere where you're at, but it's like gloomy with the storm, it's supposed to be cold. My husband, I was talking to him on Tango, and it was sleeting out there, but it wasn't sticking because I kept hearing all this banging noise. I was like, what is that? And I'm like, and I was going to do my brows. I get kind of tired of doing my brows, but I know it, the whole eye look didn't look finished. Oh, and the other thing I got rid of a ton of was eyeliners. I had eyeliners that I just realized I wouldn't use it. I will never touch them. Still going with the, if I haven't touched this within a year kind of thing, I need to get it going. I do have some lipsticks that I have in front of me that I haven't touched in a while, and I've had them for a while. I'm going to, on a mission, use them. And that's something else I forgot. I sat there and said, don't forget to put the sugar on my lip. I find everything but my lip. But 
been using this thing. In case you don't know, it's the sugar lip balm thing that I've been using that I got at Sephora and the birthday thing. I'm actually thinking about taking a trip out there up to Sephora soon, next couple days, and, you know, get some samples. I want to try some BB creams out, you know, but I haven't had any luck with BB cream. Okay. I'll do my eyebrows after I get done filming this video, this part. I'm using hot chocolate from Essence. I think I might be almost out of this. I don't remember. I, I was really thinking I was almost out of it. Yeah, I'm almost out of it. So this can go in my empties. My empties. Oh my. I grabbed another eyeliner, but I was like, oh, man, I still have this, and I thought I had used it up. No. You guys know I got really quiet on my eyeballs. I look like a football player when I do that. Okay. I need to. I'm gonna wear the non waterproof XXL Pro from Maybelline. Also, a sense of accomplishment. Getting these mascaras used up. Okay. La la la. Okay, let me finish. Uh, this up, stop the video here, and I'll come back and show you the face routine, and I'll show you the finished eye look, okay? 